and that is my time from BPN Kennel, you know. Our time for showing y'all around in our yard. And yes, some of them I have on runners is because they don't like to be in cages. They have chewed out of pens and kennels and uh, and out of chain links. So I'd rather just let them feel free to run on the runner. They more happier, they feel more free, they feel more peaceful. So I feel like that's whatever ha make my dog happy, I let them do so. As long as it ain't running the streets, because I don't like a street runner, because I know that they'll end up getting hit or something like that. I don't want the harm coming to my dog. But as long as he want to be off and run, it's okay, you know? You can't make all dogs house dog. Really can't. I'm sorry. I don't know why people's always talking about you can train a dog to do this. You can, which you can, but you're forcing that dog to do something that it don't want to be. You know, that's like forcing a person to be, play basketball and they can't. You shouldn't force nothing to do what they don't want to do. At the end of the day, you should learn your dog and see what they really interested in and what they like. Do they like to be in the house or out the door? Me, I determine to see how they act in the house for a while. Like, I give them a whole year in the house. I don't pressure them to not to use the bathroom or nothing like that because a dog that want to be in the house will learn how to not use the bathroom in the house on command immediately. You don't have to train it for months and stuff because at the end of the day, it's going to adapt. And when it don't adapt, that means that's not what its habitat want to be. So it might want to be out the door so it can use the bathroom frequently because that's the way its bowels and its essence is. It might just want to do that. Like most people don't believe in that, but it's true. Like I, I have raised plenty of dogs in all different breeds in German Shepherd and all. Some of them you cannot make like that. Like some German Shepherds, you can't even make be aggressive tack dogs. Sometimes they just so sweet and lovable. They are friendly and, and for real. Just like in Chow Chows. You know, I heard that a lot of people say they are aggressive. They're not. Like I have met Chow Chows that are just so sweet and lovable. It's how you raise your dog. To be honest, dogs, you can't listen to how people want you to raise them. Your dog is an image of you. So whatever image you show your dog is what the image that dog would take up. It's just like your kids. They are just like a child. Only you can teach them how to be and what to be and how to turn out and all that. If you don't teach your dog anything, it won't be nothing. So don't look forward to thinking that, well, if I get a dog from a person, and he's a good dog breeder and his dogs listen. My dog should do the same thing because his dog do that. No, it don't. It don't work like that. That don't work. You, you don't you don't get that dog because of who the person is. You get that dog because of you want it and you get that dog because of what you want to do with the dog. Like you don't just get a dog because it's cute and pretty. That's some things what I'm my next thing gonna be talking about because I hate those people that just buy dogs because they're cute and pretty. Then later on you wanna try to get rid of it. Look, I, I don't do that. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, even after I get done not breeding a, a dog of mine and I stop breeding it at a certain age or something, I, I have it neutered and I keep it as a pet. I love my dogs. That's just me. I keep it as a pet. It's just going to be here, get lovable, grow old with me. I'm going to keep her healthy, keep her fat, and keep her nice. Like, that's what I do. This is one of mine. She's Midnight Mom, and she's neutered. After her, she only was able to have one litter, and I had to neuter I'm keeping her. She's going to be seven come next year. And that's Bun Bun. And, you know, I kept her. Like, it's not a hassle to, to me to still take care of her or nothing like that. At the end of the day, I got her. I raised her the way I did. I, I got her the way she is. I, bought, I raised her up the way she is. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to keep her. I'm not just going to throw her to somebody else because, oh, she done had her time, done had babies and all that. That That is wrong. It really is. Don't get me wrong. It, it is. Even though down to some aggressive dogs. Like, if you do have an aggressive dog, it is okay to sometime to rehome them because it might not be uh, aggressive. It might not just not be meant for the city. It might need a countryside to run free, to do more. It might want to hunt. That don't mean it's aggressive. It just where you got it at in the environment it in, it makes it it making it feel solidified to want to fight and be aggressive and be territorial. I learned that over time. Some dogs you can't force to be in the pack at your house. Like look at all mine. I got them here. I'm standing out the door with all of them, and you don't hear no barking. The only time they start barking 
is when I started approaching one of them because they get jealous. They really do. Dogs love attention. And so I have to take time out every day, you know, because this, I love my dogs. That's why I don't really make too many videos, but I love my dogs. I have to take more time out in playing with them, letting them lose, walk them. Just because they're on the runner, I still get out here and interact with them every day. Every day that I have time, if I got an hour, I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna break that hour down to 20 minutes each. I can let them out in groups. I can have some of them that get along with each other with no problem, some of them that don't. Well, still, I let them out in groups. I let them out with the ones that get along with each other. I let them out play, run for 30, 40 minutes. Then I let the other one out in groups, 30, 40 minutes. It'll sometimes be four dogs each, five dogs each. Sometimes I have some litters, that, um, they all get along. But you know, when you have a majority of, since of more females than males, you, you might have that sometime. Cause some of them are raised different. Like some of my raised as a guard dog, some of them I raised as a pet dog, some of them I just raised as my breeding dog, you know, so I don't let them play with the other ones because they're raised for a different cause of what I'm doing. That's the only difference. But my thing is, my biggest thing is, I want to reach out to most people, let them know they just don't get a dog just because you see somebody else with a dog or just because you like that it's cute and it's pretty i feel like if you're gonna get that dog love that dog if you can't love it who will because after you raise it up and make it crazy not standable not livable for other people not meant for other people then what gonna happen to that dog eventually they're gonna end up at the pound or put down or eventually you're gonna put it in your car and you're gonna drop it off Either way you put it, if it get dropped off, you're going to eventually end up at the pound or hit. And that's wrong. Because at the end of the day, it probably went to a better home. Get a dog and really love it. That, that's my thing for the day. Get a dog and love them. Love your dog. With all your heart.